Can a brace repair your dog's injured anterior cruciate ligament? Find out in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. I'm here at visiting my brother on Vancouver Island. It just so happens he has a couple of border collies. This pup by the name of Heather. She's injured her right ACL. She's now fitted with a knee brace. It's been about a month. I wanted to show you what brace, sort of what he's been doing to help heal her knee injury without surgery. Heather was peeling off into the woods about a month ago, came back in, and that's what you, Michael saw. Her left leg was hiked right up. She'd actually completely torn her ACL. Pretty common when we get these active dogs, they, you know, a lot of stopping and starting. They're putting a lot of force on that primary ligament, which is stabilizing the knee joint. As far as, you know, options wise, he took her into the veterinarian, they worked her up, said yes, she's completely torn her ACL. She's a good candidate for surgery, but you're gonna be looking at $5,000 plus. So I talked to Michael and we're trying some conservative treatments including a dog brace. So Heather, who is looking not super stoked about being in the video, she actually has the ortho dog anterior cruciate ligament knee brace. I'm gonna show you guys what it is and how easy it is to put on your dog, how to size your dog, and whether it's an option for you to help your dog heal naturally at home. So the brace consists of four parts. The first part is this chest harness. One strap going up here around Heather's neck. The second strap going up in, in here behind her arm, going around her chest. And as you can see, you've got this sort of metal anchor, which the actual ACL brace hooks itself onto. So here are all three part of the braces. Here's the central back support brace, which hooks up onto the chest harness. You're gonna make sure we center the ortho dog symbol right in the middle of your dog's spine. Then one, we have clips that go for the left uninjured leg. So the uninjured leg, that's the support brace. So we're gonna lay it out, clip that in, so we're ready to attach that to Heather. And then lastly, we have the actual supportive ACL knee brace. This is marked right. And most of the right and the left labels are on the outside. So you can unclip all the Velcro straps, lay them out flat. And there we have our ortho dog brace ready to apply to Heather. So here we have the back support brace centered right over the top of Heather's spine. As you can see, there we've got our label running right down the middle of the spine going forward with the strap attaching to that little metal clip around your harness, Heather, keeping everything square and aligned. So this is the left uninjured knee brace. And as you can see here, it's got the left marker, which goes just above her knee on the outside of the leg. First, there's one Velcro strap. It hooks underneath the leg. And you see it hook into that uh, plastic clip going around, Velcroing on to the top of part of that brace. And you know, you can see well attached. And then you can see there the two clips above that are then clipped in and anchored in uh, to the back support brace. Now for the right side or the injured leg. As you can see here, it's much more of a skookum brace. I've, once again, I've already got these clips attached to the center uh, back support brace. It's gonna lie here. You can see the right tag with the purple sort of ortho dog label sitting right in about the middle of your dog's knee. Or it's right there about at the bend of the knee. So now, Heather, the top one kind of loops under itself. Make sure we don't get Heather's tail in it again. Goes through the claps, comes back on itself. We're gonna anchor that with sort of moderate pressure. Go her Heather. And then the bottom one just, just sort of loops right over top of itself. There is no clasp. They're both attached with Velcro. So you wanna make sure then you're gonna adjust the buckles 
So you've got even amount of sort of uh, pressure on either side. So the left and the right side. And the main thing we're trying to do is make sure this ortho dog label, the back support is quite centered. So you can just slowly adjust, put additional force pulling down but on these, these fabric tabs to slowly snug it up. So we've got moderate pressure on the right and the left leg. Make sure this back, back support brace is centered, which it is. And let's just do some better close-ups, show these guys how we know this is properly lined up and attached, Heather. I'm really impressed by this system. So in doing it, it's called a non-rigid uh, ACL support brace. And I think that's a really good job of helping with some of the biomechanics and helping a dog like Heather heal without having surgery. Hey guys, a couple points I wanna make. So first of all, uh, she, Heather is a big active dog. You know, ideally if Michael could have had surgery as well, I think, you know, ideal would be a combination of surgery and a brace and post-op physio. You know, it's like the ideal world, but we all don't necessarily have a spare $5,000 plus to do surgery. Secondarily, not every dog needs surgery. Um, it's been reported that up to 85% of dogs, 30 pounds and under, will heal well without surgery. Heather's like, what, 45 pounds? She has a really good chance of healing without surgery. Third, as much as surgery is important, also post-op care is super important. So when they're looking at human medicine, for instance, when they look at your people that go ahead and get ACL surgery versus those that just get like really detailed physio along with like physio exercises and stick to them, the people that do the follow-up physio, all those follow-up physio exercises, often many of them have actually higher long-term success rates with having a long-term stable knee. So it's other, all the other things, as much as you know, just the one surgery to restabilize the, that knee is as important. So meaning these braces, and especially like this ortho dog brace, be, can be really critical in giving your dog one that long-term result, whether or not they even have surgery or not. So this brace is working, in my opinion, by doing a couple of key things. First of all, you know, just rigid support around the injured knee. You know, Heather cannot fully flex. She can't fully extend the knee because she's got this brace on there. And it's provi providing some stability, you know, anchoring the femur, anchoring the tibia, so you don't get excess cranial motion, you know, restraining that injured ligament. That's what injured her ligament in the first place. Likely her foot was planted, here, the rest of her body went forward. She tore that ACL. Secondarily, Heather, let's get you to stand up and show them what else this does. Secondarily, you know, it's using other parts or mechanics of your dog. So it's using this back support brace to one like anchor and equalize some of the force that's on her left knee, on her right knee. So many of these dogs, they'll just put all their weight on one leg you know, as, as they're doing that, they're causing all, the, all their muscles, i.e. their back muscles to overcompensate. They get into spasm, they get completely really awkward biomechanics. If you can like normalize that, you can go a long way in your dog, like starting to heal normally because all of a sudden all the muscles aren't in spasm, they're not permanently hyped on one side. As soon as you put this brace on Heather, she's much more square and it forces her to walk biomechanically square. And I'm gonna film her walking around. You'd be surprised when she's walking, she actually looks really good. Or if you take the brace off, you can see a big difference. When she does not have the brace, you can see how she's completely sort of leaned over to the one side. You know, she's putting all her weight on that left side, just completely hiking up the right. As soon as the brace is on, you can see how she's much square, at least in my opinion. So if we're looking at her straight on walking at us, um, you can see how she's a, got a much squarer gait. And that can go a long way in terms of, first of all, healing, because biomechanically she's walking correctly, all the muscle, muscles are firing the way they should. She's then much more likely to have that knee stay square, to allow the scar tissue to form in the inside of the knee, to get sort of good long-term knee stability. And ultimately that's how she's gonna heal. It's gonna be the scar tissue that forms in the inside of the knee that supports that knee joint. When we're making sure everything sort of is squared up, she's using all the mus muscles that they're firing the way they should be. Um, so then you know, she has the best chance of recovering without surgery. 
The most important physio exercise that you should be doing at home is called PROM or passive range of motion exercises. And this should be done as a minimum of 10 minutes twice daily for your dog. So when you are going through this range of motion, one, you're producing joint fluid, two, you're helping to contract and flex and extend those muscles, right? So she's, well, all of a sudden what's happening? I see like some of, some of your big thigh muscles here are starting to be used, some of those hamstrings, right? some of those big quad muscles on the top. And then you can also sort of gently flex and extend her hip, as well as sort of flexing and extending that knee. We want to produce some joint fluid, provide some lubrication, give her some pain relief, and we're going to make sure those muscles don't all seize up and tighten up and you're unable to use them. And that's like Physio 101. If you can just do passive range of motion twice a day is awesome. So as far as a big summer here, first of all, you're getting an ACL support brace for your dog, i.e. the ortho dog brace. I really like it. I think it's a great option. Secondarily, you're providing some good uh, pain, pain control, right? Be it initially anti-inflammatories if you need to, 95% curcumin, Boswellia, CBD. Really make sure that your dog is comfortable. We want them to be as pain-free as possible, and we want them to start like using that leg, but in a supportive way. Third, you're making a really big point that they're not doing any of this stop start. They're not jumping up or down. They're not doing the things that injured the knee in the first place. Because we need to ensure, because as soon as they put those big forces on the knee, they can re-tear the scar tissue that is forming. So what means, one, if you get that um, splint on her in the morning, leave it on all day. If she's going outside for a walk, make sure that she's on a leash. You're not chasing a ball. She's not chasing a squirrel. Honestly, and be really, really diligent for the first eight weeks. It takes about eight weeks to get the beginning of a good scar tissue forming. And really, you can't really evaluate that knee until about four months. Like you're looking at about 16 weeks where you can say like, okay, we have some good healing going on. It's only been about four weeks for Heather. We've got another three months to really say, okay, now we're out of the woods. You know, now you can start chasing the squirrel. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on Braces for Dog ACL Injuries. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.